Tuesday, June 12th, 1230 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at some unusual, actually one very unusual radar return that I noticed yesterday on my phone app that I use to monitor the weather. It's called My Radar. And someone else noticed it too, shared a snapshot of this very um, same anomaly that I noticed. And the only reason I'm sharing this with you is because of its unusual size. These things aren't necessarily unheard of. In fact, there's some examples here at a weather website that talks about these things. And sometimes they're associated with Doppler radar, Doppler rings. And they don't get quite this big. Look at this. I mean, this thing dwarfs the ones that they're showing examples of. I mean, absolutely dwarfs those. And I've seen them before. They sometimes cover 80% of the United States. It just depends on the weather conditions. So we can put this in perspective. It was right here. That's the exact location, right, right there. I mean, this thing is huge. It's bigger than North Dakota. It's bigger than South Dakota. Um, it's a little over 300 miles wide. That's like six times the size you would see of a typical like Doppler radar ring. Seriously, it covers this entire area. Just absolutely huge. And it was only in a few frames, and then it disappeared. I'm going to show you those frames right now if I can find I've got a lot of windows open so please bear with me here it is right here watch this thing I mean it's gigantic look at that I'll pause it here and show you just how big it look look at that thing look at that there it is in full circle I mean, that's just massive. It's nearly 300 miles from top to bottom, side to side. Side to side, 300. Top to bottom, 300. It's absolutely massive. I've never seen one that big. I've seen them, yes. I've seen multiples on the same morning or evening, yes. But I've never seen, and this was by itself, never seen one that big. So that is very, very unusual. Something else that was unusual was some sort of a mystery object spotted over the state of Washington in the Pacific Northwest at 3.56 a.m. Have no idea what this was. It was not reported at the American Meteor Society as any type of a meteor. It's just some sort of a mystery object that no one can explain. Article to this uh, unusual story down below in the description box. Guys, I want to take a look at the seismographs. There's way too many to point out, um, in fact, because it affects all of them. But I want to start just randomly. I'll pick one. Uh, Ethiopia, for instance. Look at the time. 20 UTC. You go straight across, and you'll see some activity that lasts for about 15 minutes. It's very mild, but if you look at these seismographs, you'll see that this activity is present at the same time in the 20 zero zero. Uh, universal time hour there's about a 15 minute stretch of activity either at the beginning of the hour or at the end of the hour all the way around the globe and it seems like it starts in the eastern hemisphere works its way around the globe counterclockwise to the western hemisphere and you can see little signatures of it across the united states one thing i will say there was a earthquake over in japan I'm not sure if this is the exact time of the earthquake. I think it was, but it was just like a 5.0. It shouldn't have been felt on seismographs around the world. I mean, there's a, a little signature there down in Australia. You'll see multiple ones across the United States. There's one in Hawaii. With all the activity that's going on in Hawaii, it still felt this signature, whatever it was, at around 20, 26 universal time. That right there is uh, the crater of uh, Mount Kilauea. That was an eruption last night at around 1 or 2 in the morning. You'll look at these graphs. Here's another example. Greenland, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40. Around 20, 39, 20, 40, it was felt up in Greenland. I mean, all the way around the world. Look at the United States. Here, Tennessee. 
let's go back to here we go Waverly Tennessee 2051 so it traveled from the eastern hemisphere through the western hemisphere Minnesota 2046 just picking some random ones here uh, Wyoming 20 2040. Here's another one. Wisconsin, 20, uh, 46, 47. Pennsylvania, 20, 48. But there was something felt all over, all the way around the world last night. Don't know exactly what it was, um, but it was. Stronger in some places, weaker in others, but nevertheless, it was felt all the way around the world. We're going to talk about the situation later on today uh, about Hawaii and how the earthquakes continue to intensify. This is my personal app I use on my uh, phone, and I have never seen it even remotely close to 2,500 total earthquakes in a seven-day period. And that's what that number represents. I've never seen it that high ever based off the configuration that I have it. It normally trends between at the most 500 on a very busy day, um, average day between 250 and 300. 2,500 is just out of this world. It really and truly is. There is a lot going on on the big island of Hawaii. And I'm just wondering about Mauna Loa. I really am. I'm keeping a close eye on Mauna Loa. Um, I'll share anything that I see. As of right now, you know, nothing um, like what's going on over at Kilauea. But I will say that the earthquakes, some of them, are migrating towards Mauna Loa. And as we learned, Mauna Loa erupted in 1942 when all of the planets were on the right-hand side of the sun, which has only happened six times in 120 years, actually just over 120 years. All of the planets have convened on the right-hand side of the sun depending on how you're looking at the sun, whether you're looking at it from above or below. Either way, they're sharing 180 degrees of a 360-degree uh, circle. They're all over here on the right side, and they will be in the next two weeks. They've been slowly making their way to this configuration or arrangement, however you want to look at it, and they're almost there. And as they make their way to this arrangement, it seems like volcanic activity around the world, like it has in the past, is picking up. And in 1942... All of the planets were on one side of the sun. Mauna Loa erupted. So it has happened in the past. Will it happen uh, this time around? I don't know. I hope not, but I'm just saying in the past it has happened. I want to show you something else I noticed on the seismographs. A signature in Yellowstone, and I think it was the steamboat geyser right here. See that activity? I don't know if that's magma intrusion. You can see it's starting to pick up again. Or is it this? Is it the steamboat geyser? Could be a combination of both. I don't know, but this is the steamboat geyser from just a few days ago, and it may be erupting again. This is in Yellowstone. This kind of has scientists puzzled at the moment. Um, that right now is the tallest geyser in the world. That's the Steamboat Geyser, and you can find a link to that video in the description box below. That was from the USGS, and they've been covering uh, a lot of things lately. That's one of the things that they've been covering, the Steamboat Geyser. And like I said, it has scientists kind of puzzled. But remember, as we enter this unique planetary position... The Earth kind of senses this arrangement, and I think all of the planets do. If, if all of the planets had monetary systems on them like Earth does, I mean, Earth is monitored from the seafloor to the very top of the atmosphere and everything in between. So we're keeping a close eye on that. Um, some pictures that we're seeing in, this looks like some sort of a hole punch cloud, so they say, but 
looks like to me something went through the clouds very, very quickly, leaving a trail behind. And that was sent in by Bradley. I'm not exactly sure of the location. This was sent in by Yevs from Ottawa. And you can see it's a inverted rainbow. This was sent in yesterday. And I've seen several of these in the past week, week and a half, of just a random inverted rainbow with no rain. So very, very unusual times indeed. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. We're going to do a wildlife update later on that uh, is extremely wild. Trust me. Um, we'll be getting to that video here in uh, probably the next couple of hours. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.